Hey everybody, Mark from StickReview.com, and we're doing a very interesting review to you this evening, and this is of a Toscano Garibaldi, I might be butchering that, I apologize, and uh, this is something uh, my parents had recently went on a trip to Italy, and brought me back probably about a hundred different cigars, and one of the five packs they brought me is the uh, Garibaldi Toscano. Five of them come in a box, and they're kind of oddly rolled. It's kind of like skinny on each end, fat in the middle. I did a little bit of research online, basically said that these were made to be snapped in two, so that two people could enjoy one. I guess it's roughly, I guess about six and a half, seven inches. And I just slid it up, and so far it's uh, pretty tame, not too much to it. Um, you get a little bit of a little spice from it, but not too much. Again, I have never done a review of uh, something like this. So this is the first time I'm going to be reviewing something like this. But I figured if it's new to me, it might be new to you. So uh, I don't know the price point of these. Uh, again, I'm assuming it may be 15 or $20 for U.S. for a five-pack. But uh, so far, I mean, I lit it up, and uh, it tastes okay. Nothing great about it. I don't know if it's a long filler or a short filler. I haven't done enough research. It's kind of, as you can see on my finger, flaking off a little bit. But uh, it's it's a unique review, so it's something we've never had before. So I'm looking forward to trying it. And uh, I'll smoke it down a little bit and see where we get. Hey, checking back in. And probably about 15 or 20 minutes in. Actually, it's a pretty much of a slow burner. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably a short filler. The research I've done says that this is one of the... Uh, Generics basically over the in Italy. Again, it's the flavors and the taste are totally new to me, and it's actually enjoyable. It's got a little bit of a like a stale taste to it. I don't know if that's because of you know when it was purchased or how long it took, but it's got a little bit of a spice, a little bit of tobacco. But believe it or not, it's burning well. It, it tastes good, and I haven't even got into the uh, the meat of it yet. But it's definitely something I'm enjoying. Real, real oily wrapper. Um, almost feels like it's going to slip out of your fingers. Um, but it's definitely something like I've never had before. Um, so I'm going to let it burn down a little bit more. And again, don't know, you know, how great for review this is for most of our fans which are in the U.S., but this is uh, something we've never had before, so I thought you would enjoy it as well. And I did a little research online. You can actually purchase these in the U.S. about 15 to $20 a box. Um, so again, it, it it's something unique. It's a slow burner. I'm surprised of uh, how long it's actually going just of where we're at. And believe it or not, the ash isn't, isn't too bad. Um, as you can see there, you can see with that close-up there, it's literally just almost dripping with the wheel. Um, uh, but it's enjoyable. I'm liking it. Uh, I would say it's definitely on the mild to medium side. Nothing uh, more than that. But it's definitely different, and it's definitely enjoyable, and... Uh, little old school Italian here. For uh, We'll check back in a little bit and see how we go. Hey everybody, checking back in. And uh, I'm really impressed with this little cigar. Um, it's burning quite evenly. It, no retouches. And it's really putting off great clouds of smoke. It comes pre-cut, so I didn't have to do anything to it. But uh, let me see if I can do this for you here. huge clouds of smoke for a small short filler long filler I'm not sure what it is but really it, it burns as if it was a traditional you know hand rolled cigar but again from what I've read about it it's not again I know absolutely nothing about these it was uh, gifted to me but I'm probably 35 40 minutes in here and for a little short I guess, I don't know what you want to call it, cigarilla or mini cigar, I don't know how they would categorize it. It's not bad at all. Uh, it, it's really enjoyable. I mean, it's I've had uh, other cigars that were coined as quote-unquote good cigars and were bitter and I didn't enjoy them, and this one has no bitterness to it. Good tobacco flavors, good smoke, good, good uh, ash, and you had that little stale taste is what I want to call it. Like if you have cereal that's been sitting around too long on the back of your tongue. But other than that, it's uh, it's enjoyable. I mean, I have four more in here, and I'm looking forward to smoking them. Uh, I don't know what more to say. Uh, I'm probably going to cut the review off here because I don't see too many more changes. It's been pretty consistent so far. But, you know, if uh, you're in Italy or you, know, you get a chance to try these for what I think they cost, it's not bad at all. And, uh, again, 
not a full-fledged cigar review. I don't even know exactly what you would call these, but, you know, old-school Italian little smoke. Not bad at all. Enjoying it, and uh, thanks for checking out StickReview.com.